Let's get started. In this section of the course, we will take a look at the multi-cloud definition. What are the multi-cloud strategies? How and why multi-cloud helps organizations? We will learn about multi-cloud architecture framework and how Oracle cloud infrastructure maps to this architecture framework. We will start with building common understanding of what multi-cloud is. This is important as organizations can have different view on what multi-cloud means for them. Multi-cloud is a new norm. Even short definition of norm in mathematics is a product of complex number and its conjugate, which tells us the benefits of multi-cloud adoption comes with complexity. Multi-cloud brings together cloud services from different providers to build best solutions. This helps organizations to choose right services and create best business value for multi-cloud solutions. We can see analysts review on multi-cloud strategies. Gartner, S&P, and IDC have recognized the trend of increasing adoption of multi-cloud and hybrid cloud technologies. At OCI, we are seeing most organizations distributing their workloads across multiple cloud providers and on-premise infrastructure because of cost advantages, capability differences, and other factors. Now let's have a look to the typical multi-cloud use cases. A very common use case is split stack architecture. Organizations can deploy application in a CSP and have database in another CSP, getting best of both worlds with the minimum architecture change. There is also a need of SaaS or ERP integration for data flows between the different cloud providers, possibly for analytics across different data lakes and models, also having a horizontal workload distribution, scaling out cloud native solution to the multiple cloud providers for availability and other benefits is typical multi-cloud use case. Splitting production and development workload for operational security, cost optimization, and to avoid future single vendor lock-in is another use case for multi-cloud solution. As we just saw a few typical multi-cloud use cases, now let's understand the benefits of multi-cloud. Most common benefits are having more options for overall availability for solution, having more capability within multi-cloud services to build best business and technical solutions. And of course, count on the benefits of using different cost models for different cloud service providers and getting best economical solution. In addition to these benefits, customers can also meet their audit and compliance requirements while de-risking the single provider outages by building multi-cloud architectures. As we said, the adoption of multi-cloud comes with complexity and requires design consideration to taken care by closely. We need to understand basic building blocks of design across the clouds from network latency, data movement, security, automation to operational management. For organizations to build multi-cloud architectures, a multi-cloud architecture framework sums up all the key considerations and makes easy to consider and design on best options for the solution. Oracle provides organizations option to either use OCI as their primary cloud service provider or be part of the other cloud service provider ecosystem. Multi-cloud architecture framework. There are four key design pillars of the multi-cloud architecture framework. Cloud core, where we have choice to select best services from the service provider, either it's infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, or software as a service. Cloud access, best connectivity options available to achieve low latency and high bandwidths over private links across clouds. 
cloud security, how best we can secure the solution from identity integration to having secured and monitored data in and out of cloud. Cloud operations. Integration of cloud operating models beyond single cloud provider to support the operations team and have operational efficiency across multi-cloud. We will be covering each of these pillars in detail later in the course. Now we will see how Oracle Cloud Infrastructure maps with the multi-cloud architecture framework to help organizations with multi-cloud adoption. Organizations can choose from core cloud services, networking, compute, storage, and more. OCI provides many options to create network connections, for example, with ability to provision dedicated connection between the clouds or just a VPN, or maybe both for resilience. OCI can be provisioned as infrastructure as a code for enabling automation in multi-cloud deployment. Last but not least, OCI is built upon security first and zero trust architecture, which can be leveraged to build security and governance across multiple cloud providers. This concludes the first section of this part of the course. See you in the next section. Thank you.